Makers, at the end of this video you will be able to store different sensors data from Node MCU or ESP3282 to real-time Firebase database in different ways. In this channel we brought to you different educational and informative videos regularly for free because we didn't monetize yet, so let us to monetize by subscribing to our channel. Your support is appreciated. For this project we are going to use Firebase ESP8266 Master Arduino Library. I have already downloaded the library in zip file format. You can find the download link to the library in the description of this video. After downloading the zip file you need to add the library to your Arduino library folder by directly extracting the zip file in your Arduino library folder or by following steps mentioned in this video. When I tried to add the library, it displays a message which says library already exist. This is because I have already added the library before. Now I will try to describe how the code works. You can find the source code in the first part of the comment section. First we have to import the library which we are gonna to use. Those are ESP8266 Wi-Fi and Firebase ESP8266. We need to define Firebase host and Firebase auth constants, which we are gonna to use to connect our board with Firebase. We get those values from our real-time database. I have already created a Firebase real-time database. The step is straightforward so you can create your own database. After creating the database press real-time database, then you will see a link to the database host. This is the value of Firebase host. We don't have to include HTTPS or slash while defining Firebase host. Similarly Firebase auth should also be taken from the project. Go to project settings, then navigate to service account. Now if you press database secrets, you will find database secret. Set this value to Firebase auth constant. We also need to define Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi password, with our Wi-Fi name and password. We will be using these constants to connect the ESP8266 board with Wi-Fi to send data to the internet. After defining Firebase data object and variable val, which is used to read sensors data, we can proceed to void setup function. In the setup function we start serial communication to display data onto serial monitor and we connect the ESP8266 board with Wi-Fi and Firebase real-time database using the defined constants on the top part of the code. The code will also reconnect the board automatically when it is disconnected. On the loop function first you have to read you sensor data with variable val. I will be using random number generating function which generate random numbers between 50 and 150 continuously. Firebase pushint is used to store all sensor readings onto our real-time database. The function will accept three arguments. Those are the object Firebase data, name of the real-time database collection and the sensor reading in my case val. I will also print out a message on the serial monitor to see the result. If everything is working fine we will see a success message on serial monitor and the data will be stored on the real-time database collection. Else if there is any error, error message will be displayed and the data cannot be sent to the database. Keeping everything the same, if we change Firebase push int with Firebase set int, the real-time database collection will be updated with the last sensor reading rather than storing all the data. After choosing the appropriate port number and board type, we need to upload the code onto the board. If you do not see Node MCU in your board list you need to add via board manager. Before uploading the code as you see the database is empty. After the uploading is done, the real-time database automatically create two collections which are storing data and monitoring data. Storing data will store each sensor readings whereas monitoring data will update its value with the last value of sensor reading. You can use one of the two method based up on your project requirement. Now the database is interfaced successfully. You can integrate the database with website or mobile app if you wish. If you think this video is helpful do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.